what I've done in between videos is simply copy and paste the content that I had in my uh, pre-built page over here into the uh, eight columns little tiles that I'm about to make. So uh, these elements, it was just a copy and paste operation, not anything that was particularly interesting to record. Um, we have, these are just the H3 elements and paragraph elements is all I put in. Uh, what I want to do now is actually enter in the YouTube videos. Uh, but more than just embed the YouTube videos, I want to add some CSS so I can make them responsive. So let me show you how to how to get through that. Um, first order business is actually going to the actual pages that you want the videos that you're going to embed and underneath share and uh, embed you'll see the code that you want to pop into your page. Now don't mess around with any of the extra uh, any of the extra stuff you hear. I mean, I guess if you want to use HTTP and all that kind of thing or use old embed code, I think the difference is it's an object tag and instead of an iframe, whatever. You could, uh, you could use that. But uh, for me, I like the defaults. I don't need to mess with the height and the width, so I'm just going to copy and paste the stuff from here into my page. So let me get to it. All right, there you have it. So um, let's take a peek at what this looks like. Okay, um, we got the videos in there, but obviously uh, we want them to be sized better. Now, if these were images or uh, you know the dot uh, the I IMG element or the video element, we could just easily use the width 100%, and that's going to inherit the width of its parent container, which in this one is going to be, you know, half of our 960 pixel grid. And then by adding a height auto, it'll make sure that it keeps the aspect ratio of the video, the height to width dimensions. Um, intact. But unfortunately that trick isn't going to work for uh, embedded YouTube videos because they're iframes and they act a little bit different. Um, fortunately the the solution for that is is pretty simple. It's uh, it's pure CSS. It's a pure CSS um, uh, solution but we do need to add an extra HTML element to it. Now I made a I made a tiny URL for the link and it'll redirect you to that page um, and there you're gonna find the solution. Now uh, in short essentially you, first you create a, a wrapper container that is gonna fit the aspect ratio of it and that's governed by this um, by this code over here you see that the video container is going to be the div element that we wrap around our iframe and it says position relative because we're going to be using position absolute uh, padding bottom this is the important thing that that you put in there because uh, this preserves the aspect ratio because 56.2 uh, 56.25 is basically what you get if you divide 9 into 16 and uh, 9 into 16 is widescreen that's uh, that's the dimension so we want to keep that um, padding top is something that you would tweak to make sure that the whole video fits in that frame and the height zero and overflow hidden um, you know I'd almost argue at depending on what browsers you're trying to accommodate like older ones especially like IE I think six um, this was a fix for some issues with that so I don't want to digress into what that was specifically um, but I've experimenting with this code I found that this piece uh, for modern browsers was optional now uh, let's get to the bottom portion over here where it says container iframe object and embed uh, if you're using the newer version of YouTube code all you really need is is this guy um, the iframe but um, if you keep all three of them you're kind of targeting it for greater usability so let's just say that to a certain extent, the object and embed are also optional. Um, but now, this is the interesting part. This is going to tell you how it works. Position absolute is going to position the actual video inside of that container we're going to put to, a re you know, to it since it's relative. Uh, top zero, left zero. That's going to put it to the top left-hand corner to make sure it's visible, and then. Obviously, height and width at 100% is just that 100%. Uh, so it's going to stretch it while we do it. So let's actually implement this code. I'm going to 
just use the same semantic names they're using. Video container is fine with me. And I just have to now wrap my video that I pasted in before in here. So bear with me while I do that. And then because I'm a nerd, I want to indent my iframe. So let me just take care of that while it's bugging me. Now I'm going to grab that CSS code from the web page. There we go. And I'm going to put that CSS code right there into layout.css. And now let's give it a refresh. Ah, very cool. Okay, look at that. So let's see how this works when we... Yep, it's preserving it. 